Good. Oh, I know what's up. What's this thing? It just gets in the carriageway. Oh. way. Um, perfect. So here what we're looking for in our loose leash walking is we're looking for eye contact and for Miss Brett here to be by my side. Brett. She's getting excited and she's outside. And so if you have to call her name, that's fine and dandy. Just want her to hone in on you. So here, good. She's me. She's looking at me, acknowledging me, and standing by my side. Good body. Yeah, she's like, I gotta pee, man. give her an opportunity and then we can head back uh, the opposite direction. She ever starts getting to where she's more and more prone to getting out ahead and she's not checking in with you. I like to check in direction more often. But here, I don't, I don't like that. She's getting out ahead a little bit too frequently. So I'm going to change her. So she gets more used to following me during that walk as opposed to uh, getting to engage in her own, her own day and doing her own walk. I think the uh, tractor is definitely distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Making things a little bit difficult. Um, and if she starts having major issues and starts breaking down, then what I like to do is she gets more uh, more frequent back and forth. Got the potty back. Brick. Brick. Good. Good to give her an opportunity to hone in on me. She's just completely doing her own thing right now. Brick. So ideally what we're looking for is continued paces with her by our side. So if we have to start out with going about two paces and then she gets a treat, that's fine and dandy. We just want to continue to build up. Good. She's already getting engaged and getting out ahead of me. Exactly. She has to go potty maybe. Yeah. She may. So we can, yeah, we can cut for now. 